How does the Golf R drive? The Golf R uses one of the best turbocharged four-cylinder engines around. Our automatic equipped Golf R test car ripped from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a scant 4.3 seconds and cleared the quarter mile in 12.7 seconds at 108.3 miles per hour. Those are outstanding acceleration times for a hot hatch or compact performance sedan. The engine is powerful and smooth, and the dual-clutch transmission's shifts feel far more refined than those from traditional automatics and some rivals. How comfortable is the Golf R? The Golf R's adaptive suspension dampers help improve not only handling but ride comfort too. There's a distinct difference between comfort and sport settings, though the latter is still reasonably compliant. The Golf R seats are also great. They offer excellent support, with fixed bolsters that hug without squeezing too tight. The front seats are both heated and ventilated, the rear outboard seats are heated too. Padding in both rows is supportive but not overly firm. How's the tech? All Golf R's come standard with a 10-inch touchscreen display and a 10.25-inch digital instrument cluster, both of which allow for some customization. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard and have wireless connectivity, though you can still connect your phone directly using one of the USB-C ports. A wireless charging pad is also standard. How's the interior? The same capacitive touch controls that make the climate control system so frustrating plague the rest of the car, too. Outside of the window switches, there really aren't any actual buttons. We accidentally turned on the heated steering wheel multiple times when a pump grazed the capacitive control in a tight turn. The volume control on the wheel can be pressed or used as a slider, but it doesn't work great at either. How's the storage? The Golf R has a reasonably large cargo area, with 19.9 cubic feet of space with the seats up and 34.5 cubes with the 60-40 split rear seats folded down. The cargo floor is low and wide, and the rear seats fold nearly flat. The upright rear window helps with taller items, as does the height adjustable rear load floor. Storage in the front of the cabin is equally impressive, with large door pockets, adjustable, if somewhat awkward, front cup holders, and a bin in front of the shifter for your phone or sunglasses. The rear door pockets are sizable, too, and there are three map pockets on the back of each front seat, 